this is Sarah Forehand with Bodabra, and today I'm going to teach you how to make these cute little place setters, perfect for Thanksgiving. And I'm using craft cork, um, and then I finished it with a mini Bodabra bow. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay, to make your place setters, you're going to need craft cork along with 20 gauge wire. This was 12 inches long. And what's neat about the 20 gauge wire is that um, it's easily shaped, but it will still hold your, your place setter card. Then this is just cardstock with a little sequin bead glued onto it. Six and a half inches of the satin ribbon, and then I have 12 inches of the thinner 3 8 inch wide satin ribbon. These are sequin pins, so they're not as long as the straight pins, which is nice because they don't go too far into the cork and they hold the button in place. And then to make your bow, you're also going to need the Bodabra bow wire. So to begin with, to make your cork place setter, um, I first put a hole in the center. I just used what I had on hand. You could probably also use like a nail as well. You just need it to hold your wire. And then I've gone ahead and taken the ribbon and dovetailed the end. And then you're going to put it around the cork like so. And then to hold it in place, you're just going to take a button. And then I have the little seed beads on the end of the pins. I'm just going to place it inside. Put the other one in as well. There you go. And that holds your button in place. Then you're going to take your wire. And you're going to put it down in. shape it here. You want it to match the other one. So let's see. I think I need to go a little bit lower. There you go. And then you can use your cardstock. You can put your the name of your guest right on top. So once this is made, you can then make the mini Bodabra bow that will decorate the front of it. So super simple, really easy. You can make a lot of these at one time and use whatever color combination you wanted. Now to make the bow, this is the mini Bodabra. You can place the hair bow tool and ruler on top. That will help to measure out your, your bow loops. And you're going to want about 18 inches of Bodabra bow wire. And what's nice is we're spiraling the wire too and adding it as a decoration on the place setter. So you're folding the wire in half, placing it into the mini Bodabra. Then again, this is about 12 inches of ribbon um, and I cut the ribbon at an angle and then I, I heat sealed it. But you could also use clear nail polish to keep the ribbon from fraying. So I folded the ribbon in half at the center point and I placed it into the mini Bodabra. Then you're just going to fold your loops. I'm making one inch loops. I'm using the ruler at the one inch mark and folding the ribbon. I'm going to fold it again one more time on each side. And then you're left with your ribbon tails. Scrunch down with the wand. And you're taking the two tail ends of the wire, running it through the loop, pulling, then pull again, hold the bow in place, and then remove it from the mini Bodabra. And then you're going to want to tie the wire and try to tie it in the center of the back of the bow to keep your bow from getting lopsided. Alright, so now once I've done this, the bow is complete. Just take your place setter, 
and tie it onto the, the wire in the back. Then once that's tied, what's nice about the wire is you can spiral it. So I'm using a um, glue stick that I have. It's a colored glue stick. You can just wrap it around the glue stick to give fun ringlets. And then you can just trim and then do it for the other side as well. And your little place setter is complete. And you can make a whole bunch of these and put them throughout the table. I hope that you enjoyed our tutorial. To learn more about Bodabra, please visit bodabra.com. Our products can also be found on the shelves of most major retail craft stores. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great projects. Thanks!